How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today we're going to be talking about the unsavoury notion of nerfing. No one likes nerfs, it's a complete disrespect of your time, it's a complete slap in the face for all the time you've put in to grind that stuff, to get that stuff, only to find out that it's pretty much gone to waste. And it's not just one or two things here that's been nerfed, there's a plethora of things that have been nerfed. From weapons like the Truth of Tarsus's crit modifier nerfed from 3.25 down to 2.3 and this is now proven. Embers which have been nerfed in drop rate even though Bioware is claiming it's a bug and I personally believe that but it's still something that shouldn't have gone in. It's almost like there's no extensive testing done during these patches. Wyvern Blitz, multiple storm abilities, components are all nerfed. As if that's not enough, now there's talk of stuff from patch 1.04 actually leaking into patch 1.03, like masterwork support abilities, people are reporting that they are getting them. We haven't seen any, so it could be completely bogus information. However, if it is true, then this means that there's been a severe breach in version control. There's been a severe breach in code branches and things going in that shouldn't go in because it's not tested. This in itself is a massive oversight, you can't do this. I really don't know what's going on at Camp Bioware at the moment, but it's really depressing to see how much is going wrong. It's like they cannot literally do anything right. They release a patch early and it's just gone all over the place, loot drops have gone down to hell. Yes I appreciate there are people that have actually had loot, and for you guys I'm happy, I'm genuinely happy you guys are getting loot but the rest of us are not getting loot. And if you don't get loot in a looter shooter, you generally don't play. There's other things that are just being nerfed all over the place and it's just ruining the experience. This one person on Reddit farmed 450 embers to get a god roll truth of Tarsus. He crafted so many and after crafting the one he was finally happy with, a day and a half later, the truth of Tarsus got nerfed. How is that respecting people's time? I'm sorry Bioware, but constructive criticism is here. I'm sorry Bioware. At the end of the day, you come out and say this is the cost of transparency, and that's fine. I don't believe in complete transparency. I don't care what anyone in the comment section is going to say. There is a certain limit where you simply have to withhold information. If you go full 100% transparency, then you have problems. However, but not actually telling us that there's nerfs and these aren't just a couple nerfs here we're talking major nerfs here i mean i'm just going to run through some of them that are listed that are currently known so i've already mentioned the masterwork components and support abilities that have been added not mentioned in the actual patch notes winter's wraith and ice storm nerfed from 1940 damage to 746 again this could possibly have been a tall tip misinformation but the simple fact is it wasn't in the patch notes but people are already reporting that it feels genuinely weaker chaotic grime ice shards nerfed to 74 damage per hit from 223 again it could have worked like this before but there was no mention in the patch notes so we simply don't know and again people are reporting that it feels weaker of course this could be psychological but at the end of the day you can't blame people for jumping on the bandwagon of nerf you can't blame people for rushing to the forums and asking why are you doing stealth nerfs because if it's not in the patch note for the patch that you've just released and these have happened with the patch then we have a fundamental problem there we have Amulet of Winter nerfed from 40% gun damage to 20%. Again, the same things could apply here. We have Epic Special Arms Ammo Universal Component nerfed to 15% from 30%. Amulet of Winter again has been bugged, turned into Mark of the Ruin and vice versa. Neither of them display elemental damage versus values. They've increased the amount of dailies and weeklies needed for the monthly without increasing monthly reward. Why would you increase the number of dailies and weeklies required for the monthly rewards? There's no need, the goalpost was already quite far for the average player. Sure, the dedicated would get through it in no time, but the average player would still struggle to get through all that content. It's just not right. You can't do stuff like this and not mention it in the patch notes. It's wrong, Bioware. You can't do this. Well, technically you can, because you did. It's your game, you can do what you want. But, as a consumer, this type of thing is wrong. 
I see this as wrong. My videos have generally been very positive of Anthem. I'm a very big fan of Anthem. I, I really enjoy Anthem. I do. I mean, when I finish this video, I am going to jump back into Anthem and I'm going to play Anthem. I'm going to meet up with some friends and go and do our legendary contracts and a couple of strongholds. But the bottom line is, you can't continue to do this and think it's okay. At this point, I think an explanation is required as to why this level of nerfing has taken place, and this isn't even enough. The Soothing Touch, Masterwork Anvil recoil reduction per shot went from 50% to 30%. Why? It's a PvE only game. Why? What's the necessity to do this? We have another post there for the Truth of Tarsis. Has a wonky damage change. Some are reporting increased damage, some decreased, possibly because base damage increased and the crit multiplier reduced. Regardless, the way it calculates output damage has changed. 10,000 suns can't be spammed back to back as quickly anymore. Colossus' best defense cooldown has been increased. None of this is in the patch notes, and there is just a fundamental problem here when you give us all good feedback and all good news for the patch notes, and you leave all the bad out. Because then you lose trust. And let's be realistic here, trust is waning heavily right now. I mean, I don't know what Bio is doing. I think, honestly, they are literally being overworked at this point, and mistakes are happening. Maybe they just need to, you know, just stop, leave everything for a day, come back fresh, and just say, you know, right, this is what we're going to do today. This is what we're going to focus. If instead of trying to rush a patch out in three days, take five days, take six days, take the time needed to do it and get it right. But what they're doing at the moment is literally just piling everything in as quick as humanly possible, running the stringent of stringent timelines and deadlines to try and get everything pushed out as quick as possible to try and fix a lot of things. And don't get me wrong, a lot was fixed in this patch. A lot. But a lot was still broken. Quick play is still broken. I've gone into a number of those and I can't finish a single quick play. I need to do this for my Champions of Valor, but I can't complete it because I can't complete a single one. I decided to jump into a random stronghold. After three, I've finally given up because it's broken. The game is just fundamentally, in certain aspects, broken. And the more they try to band-aid the situation, the worse it gets. They need to fix this from the core. They need to take the time in order to fix this. Bioware, please, you have a loyal fan base out there. They are waiting for the game to be fixed, but the more you decide to do things like this, shady practices in my honest opinion, the more you decide to stealth nerf stuff, and I appreciate Jesse came out openly and said, we do not stealth nerf. If things went wrong, they went wrong unintentionally. And to a certain degree, I believe him. Things go wrong. When you apply certain code, when code gets pushed and it applies, things can go wrong, but that's why we have testing. But as someone who works in QA, not even I find everything. So it's not that we can find everything. And sure, I'm a single person, Bioware probably has 20, 30, 50 QA testers. It's still possible for them all to miss it. If you're not testing it in a specific way or in a specific model, then you can miss it. While I was working at Sega, Empire Interactive and other places, this happened. It's just human nature. Things get missed. But at this level, this, I mean, I can't imagine that all of this was missed and unseen before the patch went out. I, I cannot believe that. So some of this, if not a lot of it, was known before the patch went live. And if it was caught very late on, after the fees were paid to Sony for their testing, for their submission stuff, for it to be able to go onto the PlayStation platform, to be able to go onto the Xbox platform, then at this point I believe they just pushed it out and immediately started working on a hotfix to get that out. But this is wrong. If it's not ready, just cancel the patch. I don't know guys, you let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you believe that... I mean, I don't believe Bioware is deliberately doing this. 
I don't. I, I can't fathom a reason as to why. It's a new IP. They want it to succeed. It's a live service game. The game looks great. The game feels great. And when the game works, it's one of the most enjoyable games to play. It's just fun, entertaining, and just great. But when it doesn't work, you've got the crashes, you've got the stealth nerfs, you've got the missions not working, you've got everything else. It's just right now a really big mess. I'm in a position right now where despite enjoying it when it works, I can't turn around to my friend who asked me today, do you recommend me buying Anthem? And I had to turn around and say, at this moment in time, no. Wait until the game is fixed, and then. Not because I have something against Anthem, no. Like I said, I'm going to jump into Anthem after this video, and I'm going to be playing it for a couple of hours before I hit the sack. But the simple fact is, if it's not working, I don't want his first impression being this. It's just not right. Then we have the lack of content, the lack of loot, and everything else. There's just so much here. All loot looks the samey. The missions, you're stuck with the free... When it comes to the endgame missions, you've got the free strongholds. Everyone does Tyrant Mine because it's the fastest to do it with randoms, even though Heart of Rage is actually now quicker with this ulti buff. Of course, you need to be in a stacked 4 team who's actually playing correctly, but if you are in a stacked 4 and are actually adequately geared, going into Heart of Rage is faster than doing Tyrant Mine. But... But for the majority, you're only doing Tyrant Mine because that's the quickest and fastest. And let's be real, if you played the closed door open beta, that was the stronghold that you're used to. So you're pretty much going to go to that anyway. The contracts themselves are just repeated missions over and over again. There's not enough endgame here. And though I understand the Cataclysms are coming in May, that's a long way away. We still have April, the whole month of April. We're only on the 11th of March, so we have two weeks of March, and then four weeks in April, and then whenever they're going to release it in May. Fine, true, the game is broken, they need to fix the game before these come in. But at this point, I don't know what Bioware is doing. I think they're being overworked, I think they are making silly mistakes at this point, due to fatigue, stress, I mean they're only human, and I'm not liking the comments people are making on reddit like really being offensive really like going at them don't get me wrong i can understand consumer frustration but how do you think they feel having worked six years on a product to see it failing so badly crumbling so badly do you think i mean this is their love child this is their baby that's basically disseminating before them crumbling before their very eyes they are suffering a hell of a lot more than we as consumers are so at the same time you know show some show some consideration and if you're going to go to the forums and start you know getting passionate and upset make it constructive you know turn around and say x y and z happened but this is what we'd like to see what's the plans to get this in motion don't immediately go in there guns blazing because number one that's the perfect way to get you ignored and number two you're not gonna get your voice heard because they'll just skip through that but bioware i don't know if you're gonna come out in the next few days and let us know what's going on i appreciate chad came out recently he made a bunch of tweets regarding the loot and how you're going to be looking at it over the next few months. I think you need to look at it a hell of a lot faster than a few months. Because if you're waiting for a few months, I don't believe there's going to be a player base waiting for you there. But you need to start at some point holding the brakes and fixing the game. Because right now, the game is broken. And honestly, with all these stealth nerfs that have just come in, a lot of people have had enough. And I think you need to come out now and explain what's happened what's gone wrong what you're gonna do about it i don't know maybe even just compensate some people for coin hell i'm reading people are losing coin from their accounts for no reason whatsoever one person claims that they lost half their coin maybe they used it maybe they didn't i don't know i'm just going by what i'm reading on reddit they've claimed that they've lost half their coin i expect bioware to give that back if it is the case but this sort of 
this level of bugs shouldn't be happening. Not when you release a game. I mean, this game is almost 40% complete at this point, by the way. Leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, let me know what you think. At this point, I think Bioware is... I think Bioware just needs to stop, take a breath, and just look at what is wrong. Look at the feedback from the community and start incrementally, not crazily, giving back to the community what they want. It's a PvE-focused game. It doesn't need all these nerfs. It especially doesn't need players' times being wasted players times being disrespected so Bioware fix the game fix these bugs take your time for the next patch get it right because if you don't get it right for the next one well that's me for this video I was hoping to make another video my top five or six wanted features for Anthem but I will leave that for tomorrow but hopefully we will uh, get over this hurdle as well I'm pretty sure the guys at Bioware are doing everything they can to get things right, but stealth nerfs are definitely a no-no. Absolutely a no-no. Stealth nerfs should never happen. And that is one thing that Bungie loved doing, and it's frowned upon more than anything in the world. So please, Bioware, no more stealth nerfs. And if you can, revert some of these back. I know you can do a lot server-side, so revert some of these back and make it right. Right guys, until the next video, remain legend.